Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today, it's day 26 of the Weight Loss for Women Over 50 series and today we're doing one of my favorites. It's another learn to run workout. Now don't let the word run freak you out. You can take today and every day at whatever pace works best for you. You don't need any equipment at all and when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Now, I wanted to mention that I do have a chair nearby. You don't need a chair unless you're going to do today seated, which is also a great option. You just need something to hang on to while we're doing our warm ups, but not at any other point in time during our workout. So, we're going to do our regular warm ups plus a few. Let's get started with those arm circles with high knees. You guys, today, ah, okay, I have so many things to tell you about today. I actually like wrote down a little list of things that I wanted to make sure I talked to you about. Hello, Miss Rosie, are you going to come? work out with us? I never know if you can see her on camera. She's just kind of meandering right out of the room. No, she is not going to work out with us today, you guys. Let me start with a couple of things. First of all, if you don't want to run, don't run. I thank you so much for pressing play. Thank you so much for being here on day 26. Thank you for trusting me and trusting this process. Let me just tell you, you never, ever, 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 ever have to run. But if you want to, today's a great day to give it a little bit of a try. We are taking today in super super generous walking intervals and very gentle, very manageable running intervals. We're doing a minute of walking and just 15 seconds of running that you don't even have to run. You could totally pick it up to a brisk pace or, or do this from a seated position or do this on your mini trampoline or anything. I mean, truly, you can modify and moderate this workout any way you want to. Let's do arm crossers with booty kickers. I'm going to scoot over so I don't accidentally hit myself on my chair. So here's the next thing on my list. Please, please, if you have not walked or run barefoot before, please have shoes on today. I know lots of you wear shoes, no matter that I am barefoot, but I want you to know, like, unequivocally. I've been running for 14 years. I've been working out barefoot for 14 years. It is a preference on my part and not something I feel like you have to do. And especially for today's kind of work, because it does involve some impact, I do not recommend that you start off barefoot unless you have some barefoot experience. The other thing that I want to tell you about is the chair. <laughs> you don't actually need a chair. The last time when we did whatever it was, cardio and seated abs, I had more than one person tell me that they do not have a chair. My friend, you don't need a chair. You just need something to hang on to because some of our warm ups today do require more balance than I would even remotely be capable of doing without a chair. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. I'm still, I'm still on both feet for this one, but we are doing some rather extended warm ups today because because this is a little bit much and I want to make sure that your body is completely ready for what is for many of us a very different kind of workout so we are doing a little bit of balance work, a little bit of slightly more dynamic warming up today. And in fact, our very next thing, you are going to need to hang on to something, the wall, a couch, a countertop, a chair, if you have them or whatever. A little something I call calf walkers. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just hanging on to the back of this chair and I am walking my feet, pedaling my feet, coming up on my toes and really stretching out that calf behind me as well as working on ankle mobility. My friends, this kind of a warm-up is fantastic for any kind of a walking or running workout because especially if we are indoors and doing things in one place like this, your calves are going to feel this work. So we want to make sure that they're warmed up and ready to go too. Now, also on my list of things I wanted to chat to you about, now that I am turned about halfway around, I wanted to talk to you about my shirt. <laughs> you guys. I just ordered this from Amazon. There is a link in the description below. Make sure you open it up. I got this in the mail and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most comfortable thing I have ever worn in my entire life. Coming up next, we're going to do leg swingers. So hanging on again, we're just going to swing one leg forward and backwards. And boy, do I hope I don't hit the couch behind me. I'm going to scoot forward a little bit. <laughs> Always make sure you have enough room to do your warm-ups as well as the workout, my friend. We're just swinging forward and back, really opening up that hip complex, 
loosening up your leg, bringing your heart rate up because this is all cardio all the time today. But you guys, this shirt. You know how sometimes you order things and you're like, I have no idea how this is going to fit. I have no idea how this is going to work. I have no idea if I'm going to like it or not. I tend not to order things online because of that, truly. I, I would love to order more clothing online because I hate shopping in real life, but I'm also always a little bit leery of things that I order online. Let's go ahead and switch legs here. But this one was so inexpensive that I'm like, okay, even if I hate this, this is, this is a good price. It was, I should have looked this up. I'm pretty sure it was less than $20. And honestly, nowadays, anything that's less than $20, I'm totally willing to take a chance on. So I got it in the mail and I put it on and I was like, oh, well, this shirt was clearly designed for me. So comfortable, very easy to make it either more fitted or less fitted, just, just a really nice shirt. So the link is in the description below if you would like to get a really super soft and comfortable workout shirt for yourself. I have one final warm up for us. It's that leg swinger, except this time we're going laterally. So I'm turning to the side again and we're going to swing our leg oh, right in front of us. Now here's why I do this one. Do you feel how tight your hip actually is? Isn't that crazy? We're already super warmed up. We've moved our legs and our arms and our bodies through what I would consider a full range of motion right up until we do this lateral leg swing. My friends, I have been doing this warm up for, oh, when did I do? I start doing this one? Probably about seven or eight years at this point, at least every single time I do leg swingers like this, I notice how tight my hips are. Now you might not be tight in your hips, but if you are, this is a great one to add to your repertoire. Let's go ahead and do the other side. And then, have I told you all the things I wanted to tell you? I think I've told you all the things I wanted to tell you. <laughs> then we're going to get started on our actual, actual workout today. Are you excited about this one? I... The reason I've chosen two of these learn to run videos during this month is because learning to run was absolutely positively hands down the thing that changed everything for me. It changed my life. It changed my fitness. It changed my opinion of myself. It changed everything. Let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. I'm going to get this chair completely out of the way here because that is the last time we needed it. And let's go ahead and start walking. Now this is the longer interval. It's one minute. Take this at whatever pace feels good to you and feels moderate to you. I know I came out of the gate a little bit faster today because I'm excited about this. I am an experienced runner, so I can actually run farther, faster, longer, and it's still pretty moderate to me than it might feel for you. Hello again, sweetheart. You really just wanted to be on camera today. That's Rosie. That's my smooth cat. You know, all month long, we keep looking at Agatha, who is usually right back here on the couch, but she's, she's asleep in the other room today. But Rosie today wanted a little bit of camera time to join us. But my point is, my friends, do not feel like you have to keep pace with me. Today, especially, is one of those days where I might be going too fast very unintentionally. This is still moderate for me. And this is something that I want you to find your moderate with. This is our running interval. That's air quotes. Pick it up to whatever pace feels good and still feels moderate to you. But maybe like a nice little challenge. 15 seconds, plenty of time to kind of get your feet underneath you. Whew. And then we're right back to walking. You guys, when I went on my weight loss journey 14 years ago, I had been walking for a long time. I feel like I just told you this story. I had been walking for a long time and I hadn't really done anything to change what I was eating. And then I changed what I was eating and I started running. Pretty similar timeline onto when I did that. And it's so funny to me. I have more than one friend who has said to me that the reason that I lost weight was because I started running. That I was running and, and I'm quoting again, not doing anything else and that's how I lost weight. And I have to tell you, nothing could be further from the truth. The reason that I lost weight 
was because I changed what I was eating. I was finally eating the right number of calories to be in a caloric deficit. Here we are with a running interval again, running if you want to, walking fast if you want to, doing jumping jacks if you want to. Truly, fill in this 15 seconds with whatever feels best to you. And then we're right back to our slower, more moderate pace. You guys, I think that there is, well, no, I know that there is a general consensus that when you pick up a new kind of workout, especially something as vigorous as running, that that will be the thing that will help you lose weight. We've talked about this so many times this month, but I just want to reiterate that starting something new at the same time that you change what you're eating the exercise isn't the thing that makes you lose weight. It's not. It's what you're eating. It's how much you're eating. It's how consistently you're eating that much. It's being consistently in a caloric deficit that changes the number on the scale. Now for me, running did very, very much so change something else. Here we go with a pick it up pace. Just enough. We're really getting that heart rate moving and grooving today, but not so much that it's too much stress on our body. You know what feels moderate to you, and that's the pace that you should go. The fact is, we all tend to start eating different and exercising at the same time. I mean, lots of us do this. Some of us don't, but lots of us do this thing where we're doing two different things and it's very difficult to tell them apart which was the thing that made me lose weight. I will tell you emphatically, unequivocally, that the thing that helps you lose weight is changing what you're eating. The thing that will change your body and frankly for me changed my mind is exercise. They're both important. They're both very important on your health and fitness journey. But if you're only on a weight loss journey, it's, it's what you're eating. It absolutely is. When you, wherever you're watching this, go ahead and pick it up to a little pick it up pace. Wherever you're watching this, there is in the description box. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> she seems like she's trying to actually smell my feet while I'm running on them. There is in the description box a link to get my 19 page information resource that talks all about the science and the methodology of how to lose weight at our age. The fact is, it's very different now. When I lost weight 14 years ago, I was in my 30s. It could have been partially attributable to the fact that I was eating less and moving more. But when I just recently lost a couple of pounds, I absolutely had to do less and eat more. More consistently, actually, even more so than eating more calories. At our age, our metabolism is different. Our stress level is different. Our ability to deal with stress is different. Not better, not worse, just different. And understanding the mechanics and the science of how that all works can really help you kind of wrap your head around what's the best thing for you to be doing. I know all month long I've been telling you the best thing that you could be doing is moderation, is eating consistently. But I know there's a part of you, especially when we do kind of different workouts, that thinks maybe this will be the thing that makes me lose weight. My friend, the thing that'll make you lose weight is doing the right thing being patient with yourself, being kind to yourself, sticking with it. There are all kinds of one things that'll be the thing that can help you lose weight. But picking up running, not necessarily one of them, truly. And I say this as somebody who loves to run. The fact is that I picked up running at about the same time that I changed what I was eating. Had I not done both of them at the same time, 
I don't know where I would be, and I've thought about this a lot, actually, because running for me was absolutely the simplest exercise that I could do. It was something that got me out of the house because I did run outdoors, I still do run outdoors. It gave me some alone time. It made me feel very strong and very powerful and very capable in a way that other kind of workouts never really did. I had done other workouts, I had gone to the gym before, but this really checked all my boxes. It was something that I could do alone. I'm an introvert, I don't generally like being around a lot of people. It was something that I didn't have to be very coordinated <laughs> to be good at. It was something that I could do at my own pace. It was something that eventually I could compete at, even at my own pace, and it was something that I found just so truly enjoyable. Running for me was very relaxing. And I know that sounds really funny if you are kind of struggling with these 15 second intervals. It was not relaxing the very first time I did it. It was not relaxing the second time I did it. It was not relaxing for a little while. But then, but then it was. It clicked something in my brain that changed everything about the way I feel about myself. For me, running was the thing that I was able to stick to. And as long as I was running, well then, yeah, of course I was gonna go ahead and eat the right number of calories. Of course I was gonna continue to lose weight. Of course I was gonna go ahead and, you know, eventually I added on like some strength training and some core work. And it, it snowballed for me the ability to be consistent. If I had only changed what I was eating without changing what I was doing, I don't know how long I would have stuck with it, truly. Even though I was getting results, I don't know if I would have stuck to it. And even if I was able to stick to it long enough to lose all the weight, I don't know if I would have kept the weight off. I had gained and lost weight so many times in my life doing just that. Eating differently, getting the weight off, and then kind of sliding back to the way things were. Once I loved an exercise, I wanted to keep the weight off for very different reasons. It wasn't about fitting into my jeans or looking good. It was so I could run. That's, that's why I've kept the weight off all these years, so I can run. That's it. I hope, I hope that this month has taught you lots of things. Number one, I hope that it has taught you that, that moderation is the key to, to all good things. I hope that it has taught you that you are capable of moderating your workouts. I hope that it has taught you that you are capable of being consistent. I hope that it has taught you that what you eat is the thing that drives weight loss as opposed to what you do. I hope that it has taught you that you are amazing, that you, yes you, can stick to it, can do what you want, can get what you want, can have your goals. And I hope, uh, selfishly, because I love running so much, I hope that running is part of that journey for you because I know how much it changed my mind and my body to be able to do something like this. This next running interval, my friend, it's our last one. We've been doing this for a while. You've been doing amazing and awesome. I am nice and sweaty. Here is the last time we're gonna pick it up. If you wanna make it a finisher, you can go a little bit faster this time. That's okay. You don't have to though. You're in charge of moderation, my friend. We are gonna walk for the minute afterwards to cool it back down. But I'm definitely gonna take it down. Whew, like a big notch. We're gonna take the walking down from, from our exercise walking to our cool down walking. You guys, you guys, what a great job you did today. I know based on the comments, based on the number of dislikes on the last Learn to Run video that we did, that not all of you are entirely convinced that running is something for you and that is totally okay. Truly, truly okay. Like I said, I selfishly want you to become a runner because I love it so much. But if you have some other passion, any other passion, something that gets you out of bed in the morning and says, this is the thing that I want to do 
and I want to enjoy this and this is helping me be consistent and meet my goals, do that, my friend, do that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Whew, and we are gonna do, oh my gosh, a little bit of tapping here. We're going to do our normal cool down. Let's get that Pavlovian response. Oh my goodness. Open up those shoulders. Open wide that chest. Stretch your back. Stretch your chest. Nice big arm circles. Oh, that feels so good. And this, this is how we know that we have had enough today, right? Just like the warm-up has taught us that something fun is coming, that this is the way we're going to do things, this cool-down is the same thing. It's the signal to your mind and your body that you've done it. You've done it today. You don't have to do more. You don't have to get sweatier. You don't have to push yourself any harder than this because what you've done was already amazing. Let's go ahead and open up wide. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Ah, that big deep breath. And then close it up nice and tight, stretch your back, but also give yourself a great big hug. Oh my goodness, if today was only the second time you have done running in your home, I want you to know that that big hug is for you. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you for trying something new. So proud of you for moderating. So proud of you for still being here on day 26. This is a big deal, you guys. And don't think that I don't know it because I do. So, so proud of you. I do have a longer warm, or warm up. Nope, I, do, I already did a long warm up today. I do have a longer cool down for you. If you have the time and inclination for some more stretching, it's right here on screen. For my friends who are casting on TV and cannot see what is on screen, I apologize for that. That's a YouTube thing, not a, not a Paula B Fitness thing. Make sure that you click on your phone or on your computer or on whatever device that you are casting from. Make sure that you click on that extended warm or extended cool down. I've got warm-ups on the brain today. And also make sure that if you're looking for it, that you find the playlist of what's going to be all 31 of these videos. At the end of the month, my friends, you can do them again and again and again and again and keep getting weight loss results. Down on the bottom of the screen is the letter P. That is an invitation to go over to Patreon where a monthly pledge from you helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so much for that. And on the other side of the screen, that's a picture of me. It's actually a subscribe button. If you are not already subscribed, make sure that you click that and the bell notification so YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for walking and running with me today. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.